My name is James. My record title is Most Flash Tunnels in the Face. So I am in the Guinness World Record office and I'm here to have these two uh, new uh, plugs uh, verified. Qualify for the records, uh, each flash channel has to be a minimum of 3 millimetres or 0.11 inches in diameter. So we are here today in the Guinness World Records office and I'm here with James and we are going to be verifying his two new flash tunnels. We will just verify that these are wide enough. Yeah, that's over the three and the other side. Yeah, they're wider than three. So James, you are the previous record holder with 15. We have just verified your two new flesh tunnels, giving you a total of 17. I'm very excited to announce you have broken your previous record. Congratulations, you are officially amazing. Thank you. The reason why I've gone with the record, again, is just because, you know, this, this is who I am, this is how I look, this is, you know, how I express myself. And as I've already got the record, you know, might as well get it verified and get to do some fun stuff. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. The reason why I did it wasn't to get the record, but I was inspired by the previous record holder, Joel Migler. So initially, it was when I saw his uh, interview because I, you know, absolutely fell in love uh, with his look and I wanted to you know, go for something um, similar. Obviously, the size of a lot of mine are a bit smaller. Well, you know, quite a lot smaller. Uh, tends to freak some people out. I showed somebody and she absolutely freaked out. She was like screaming and she like ran to the other side of the room and was like hiding behind her hands and then was like looking over and was like, oh no, no. So that, that, was, uh, that was quite amusing. So right now I'm not, you know, I'm not planning um, any more body mods, um, but you know, I'm, I'm quite impulsive. So, you know, I might, I might wake up tomorrow and you know, completely changed my mind. I used to feel that um, quite a lot of people were very sort of judgmental towards me um, based on the way that I look. Um, and I do still feel that to an extent, but I feel like uh, a lot of that was more sort of down to uh, my own sort of, uh, my own kind of mental health in a way and the way that I sort of, uh, the sort of relationship that I had with myself and uh, the way that that affected the way that I sort of interpreted other people's uh, behaviour towards me. Um, and because I just assumed that people would be sort of judgmental towards me, then it was kind of, uh, I mean, if you're looking for something, then you're going to see it more. You know, everybody who I stop and talk to for any reason, you know, seem, seems seems to treat me just, just as they would anybody else. Something really important that I've learned uh, quite recently is that it makes a lot more sense to get your self-esteem from a like a internal locus of evaluation instead of how other people interpret you. Because at the end of the day, um, the most important thing is the relationship that you have with yourself. For me, you know, expressing myself regardless of what other people think has made me feel a lot, you know, a lot more fulfilled. I don't want to change myself to fit in with other people, it's better to just be myself and spend my energy finding where I fit in anyway. I mean, it, it, does, it does feel pretty cool um, to be a record holder. It's definitely a talking point. I mean, it is, it, I've put it on my CV as well. The best thing um, was that my mum said that she was really proud of me um, after I got it verified the first time, so that felt good. I hope to, I hope to see every record get get broken again. Um, you know, for, for the same reason, it's just exciting to you know see things get you know progress and push further and further.